Hello everybody, and welcome to Jack Rigo Productions. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these videos. The reason why I'm doing it is because I needed to sound off a little bit on the Broncos and some of the way people feel about things. Now, when you've been a fan for a long time, people question, oh, you're not a real fan because you agree with go not agree with everything's going on. That's not necessarily true. You could be a real fan and question what's going on. The Broncos have been an absolute joke for almost 10 years now. They went through the Russell Wilson fiasco where Sean Payton treated him poorly last year. Shouldn't have told him, I'm going to bench you if you don't change your contract. He should have just benched him because he played poorly, which he really did. And he had a little bit of a decent bump, but overall he didn't play good and he definitely wasn't worth the $40 million a year. And that stupid general manager, Patton, signed him to that long deal and he still has a job. I don't understand. They say it was pressure from ownership. He's the idiot that negotiated it. He should be fired. He should be held accountable when you screw up. Any other person that was in a real job, if they effed up like that, they'd be long gone. Believe me, they wouldn't have a job anymore. Now on to the future. They've let go a lot of guys, Justin Simmons, a couple of other good players. And it's been a little frustrating because you're going to look at it next week and like, this team's going to suck. And then there's the talk of they have the 12th overall pick, the trade up for this J.J. McCarthy, this guy who all he did was hand off. And he's okay. And he threw like 200, yard, 200 less attempts than some of the other guys, and he's getting all this pub. I don't understand, really. It makes no sense to me. I wouldn't do it to trade up for him. Or even trade up the third for possibly for Drake May from North Carolina or Jaden Daniels from uh, LSU if they're actually available which they're not going to be, well, Daniels won't be available. And you're going to mortgage multiple first round picks to move up for a guy who knows he's going to be that good. It's not like you're moving up to get Joe Burrow because none of these guys were Joe Burrow recently who had an outstanding senior year when he played before and obviously it's translated into the NFL. These guys are all crapshoots. Look at the 2021 draft. All those guys except for Trevor Lawrence who's been spotty suck. Trey Lance, traded, hardly played, suck. Justin Fields, traded, inconsistent, has talent, but not that good. Zach Wilson's taken to a row by the Jets, suck. Mac Jones, one decent year, two bad years, traded, suck. So do you want to mortgage your future when you're already not a good franchise as it is to try to rebuild? Take the best guy available, trade down, Get a pick later, quarterback later on, Spencer Rattler or one of these other guys. See if they're okay. Maybe you'll get lightning in a bottle. If not, you have a bad year, take the quarterback next year. Because you're not expected to contend anyways. You've got Kansas City in the division. Um, the Chargers, even though they've let go of guys, still have Herbert and the new coach and uh, Jim Harbaugh. And the Raiders were better than you last year and have beaten the crap out of you over the years, especially in Las Vegas. So don't be stupid. Just play it out, be smart, take the best player available or trade down. Don't take Bo Nix either, another guy who's got a mediocre arm. I keep hearing, oh, he's the Drew Brees. He's not the Drew Brees. Stop it. He's not going to be Drew Brees. Drew Brees is, was really good in college, and Drew Brees had been in the NFL for five or six years before Peyton got a hold of him. Maybe Bo Nix in five years will be Drew Brees. At the beginning of his career, he's not going to be even close. He probably never will be Drew Brees, but I don't think he's going to be. Who knows? Maybe he's better. I don't know. He's not as overrated as J.J. McCarthy, who I don't want on the Broncos. Please do not draft J.J. McCarthy. Please. And you get so many other holes. You don't have pass rush that's that good. Um, you could use another running back. Could use another receiver. There's so many different things. You got rid of Jerry Judy, a guy who really disappointed as a first-round pick as well. So you need to do something to rectify all these situations. Yes, you're going to suck next year. It hurts as a Bronco fan since 1983 to accept this. But I do say I'm grateful. I've seen them play in seven Super Bowls, win three of them, be a good team for many, many years for the most part. Seen two of the top five quarterbacks of all time probably, and John Elway and Peyton Manning. Um, even Jake Plumber was respectable. Had the fun year with Tebow, even though it wasn't that good. They still made the playoffs and, and made it exciting for that year in 2011. So there's been some good. It's been trash since 2017. 16 wasn't so bad, but 2017, ugh. 
them not hiring Shanahan's son because Joe Ellis, that piece of garbage, said, I don't like him. I have a problem with the father. Guess what? If you had Shanahan's son, you would not be a piece of trash like you have been for nine years. You'd be so much better. You might not have won anything, but you would be respectable, probably make the playoffs at least a few times. Also, too, another thing, they're changing their uniforms, and it really bugs me that they didn't bring back the D. It's just, it's the tradition. I know they want to use the new logo because they won Super Bowls, which is so stupid. The Patriots changed their uniforms, and they won six, even though they did keep the logo. And then now with the orange, and then potentially they're going to do something with the mountains. What the hell are you doing? Why can't you just have a normal uniform like these other teams? Dallas, Green Bay, Las Vegas Raiders. Normal, simple, traditional, clean uniforms. Why do you have to screw around with everything? And please, please, the last thing. If you even have your mountains, at least if the rest of it's clean, I'll be okay with it. Don't do all orange. Don't do all red like Arizona or the Redskins. I'm sorry, the Commanders with all burgundy and all that. It's horrible. Please don't do that. Trees try to be as traditional as possible. Make it look clean. I guess as an alternate, you can have an all one color. And also, please, another thing. Not too much navy. I hope navy is not the primary color. The Denver Broncos are orange crush. Not the blue crush. I know they won their Super Bowls in the late 90s with blue, but... I never associated the Broncos with blue. I don't think they ever should have been blue. That's my opinion. It had nothing to do with them winning the Super Bowl because they changed their uniforms. They won the Super Bowl because they had Elway, Terrell Davis, great offensive line, Shannon Sharp, Ed McCaffrey, Rod Smith, uh, Neil Smith, all the great guys on defense. Um, oh my God, number 27. Well, I can't remember his name. I always liked him, hotheader, whatever. He's one of the guys, too. Great cornerbacks. The, Shanahan was an excellent coach. Helped change the game. Learning from Bill Walsh, that system of offensive football. Not the run-run pass on third down like it was in the 70s and 80s. They, he adopted, I mean, it was starting to change with the 49ers and some of the other teams. Maybe the run and shoot of the Lions. So there was some passing. It wasn't all run. But the nice mix of run and pass that Shanahan brought that his son has, that the principals are in the NFL. McVay learned under Shanahan with the Redskins. Obviously his son, um, the coach of the Green Bay Packers, learned under Shanahan, runs the ball, nice throwing with Jordan Love, mobile quarterback. So there's a lot of good there. Anyways, whoever's actually stayed for this eight minutes or whatever it is, you get a gold star. Listen to me rant. Because it's been frustrating to be a Bronco fan in the last six years. And especially the last two years with the Russell Wilson fiasco. Which I still don't like the way that happened. I don't mind that they got rid of him. Even though he signed a bad contract. Just should have been done more professionally. That's all. I think Peyton's a good coach. He has a lot to prove to try to build this team up. They're going to give him a chance. We'll see what happens. I think if he fails after two years, he's gone. So just start over. Whatever. Oh, and one more thing on Russell Wilson. Russell, don't do another stupid video with those Steelers and all your proving how you worked out and all this. You look like a narcissist. Go play and prove that you're good again. That's all. You look stupid, really. You made so much money. It's like, dude, just play. I actually hope Justin Fields plays because I think he has something to prove. Seems like a good kid. Kind of got a raw deal. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate it. Hope you is didn't bleed. Listen to the Boston accent. And if you would disagree with me, so what? That's fine. You could disagree. Just be respectful. That's all. I don't care if you disagree. You can think, John, whatever. You sounded dumb. I disagree. Blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Be respectful if you agree. Great. We'll see what happens. All the Bronco fans, good luck because we need a lot of it. Take care.